I guess he just hopped out of the car and he goes, and he jumped down under there and he goes, I thought I smelled something. But this is why buses, why buses burn down. This is the main cause of a bus. Wow. Because it catches on fire and it, like, it gets the truck. You know, it's one of those times you realize like that's one of those times when if that was out if I was on a road trip I Like I went to college station to preach. And I was in Lily if I was in the middle of a cornfield Back road and I saw that there's absolutely nothing I could do I But pull over the flames start I pull over and watch it burn to the ground I literally walked up, I drove up to the firehouse, but 10 min 10 more minutes if I would have seen this smoke um I don't know if I would have had time before flames start, and that's literally how trucks burn up all the time. What is the deal with us and fires? What is the deal? I guess God's saying, don't you idolize that truck. I will burn it to the ground. I don't know. Another fire on the Smiths. Here we go. Jackson Hole, Wyoming today with the brothers and Chris, and we are here uh, with a bunch of believers that were invited to this summit. Coming from all different spheres of influence and life, coming together, I'm a little out of breath because I'm high altitude. Coming together to brainstorm on better, more efficient ways to get the gospel to all nations, specifically the nations that are unreached right now in the world. Three billion people unreached without the gospel. So bringing all these people together, uh, including us three brothers from Yee Yee, to just um, tell our stories with these other influencers, tell our stories of what we have seen that has been effective in evangelizing to unreached places. I guess that's the best way to put it. We've been here for two days and I haven't filmed. I'm gonna head to the airport. We're all finished. We're gonna head to the airport and there's Tyler right there doing a little walking. I'm trying to get some exercise, get some steps in so that we can get to the airport. We have a long day of flying and we're not gonna get any exercise. So I'm just trying to get the steps in. And uh, by the way, the guy that put on this summit is David Platt. It's been good. It's been a, it's been a good couple days. Do you have anything to add to what I just said? Here we are, beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming. The leaves are changing. Oh, um, yeah. Really pretty right now. Yeah, we we just got back from a, uh, or we just finished up a conference with, uh, the host was, his name's David Platt. He's a preacher in Washington, D.C. David's main deal uh, about Radical is reaching the unreachable, our world of evangelizing and discipling all the nations. So he really hones in on, that's like his, his thing, hones in on how you can help, where you can help, why we should help. Well, and that the Lord will call. Call up missionaries that will want to travel the world, bringing people good news. So Sissy's volleyball is stuck in the tree. Where is it? Uh, it's right there. Lincoln's trying to get it. There's a golf ball stuck in there too. Mavi, can you get it? Can you get Sissy's volleyball? Is there a frog in there? Oh! 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 <laughs> it's dead. Don't touch it. There's worms on it. Ew, no. Maggots? Yeah, no, there's like white worms. Oh, there's maggots on it. Mavi, did you just touch that? Oh, baby, okay, okay. Can we go wash your hands now? That's disgusting. Oh, so close, buddy. Oh. Balls in the tree. Roller, golf ball. <laughs> we need help. Yeah! Nice. Now do that with your football. Can you help me carry this in? Daddy. Come here, baby. Can you help me? Can you carry this? Can you carry this? Oh, heavy. Oh, heavy. What are you looking for? You're taking it back to the door? <laughs> what are you doing? Where, where are 
are you hanging it over there? I can't even film you because these dogs are all over me, pushing me over. What's wrong with your tire? What's going on in here? Well, let me tell you. If you remember my, my study up here, this is where I do after midnight radio and then do the podcast in there. But if you remember this, this was, I had these shelves here and books on them. Well, I have taken everything down. This is gonna, I'm gonna move this into the podcast room. Johnny Wazinski is making this whole thing one massive bookshelf. So very excited about that. He's actually working on it right now as we speak in his garage. He's putting everything together and it's gonna be nine feet tall and it's gonna have a ladder that goes down the whole side, which I think is gonna be so fun, all that. And I hung this light on here because it'll go, the bookshelf will go all the way up and I'll be able to have this light for, for the table. So it'll be, I mean, It'll basically be like a little bitty miniature library in here and I'll be able to uh, do my study and writing. This is actually where I do my preaching. <laughs> little fun fact, this is where I do my preaching uh, as I'm preparing a message. I'll come in here and preach to the oak trees out there uh, and, I'll, and I'll simulate um, exactly like, very similar to um, the environment I'm going to be in as far as as far as my having my resources right here have my Bible and that way I can walk through it I'll be like ah, oh, this doesn't this doesn't feel right then I kind of go back through so I do that several times before I head to whatever event I'm gonna do so that's kind of what this room is anyway I wanted to show y'all what's about to go down before Johnny's just bringing stuff in here uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be something I am on my way to where am I going White Oak, Texas, to go speak at a women's group. I had a message prepared and then on the way, it's about a three hour and 45 minute drive. On the way, the Lord laid something else on me. So I'm gonna try to stop, I think, at a coffee shop and write a new message. So Granger and Lincoln are still hunting. London is home and with Maverick and our sitter. She's going to a little pumpkin patch today. Uh, but I'm gonna go and try to speak some hope and encouragement into these women at this church. It's called Treasure Church. So maybe I'll film a little bit of it for you. We have arrived. Treasure Church. It was a really sweet time of fellowship. A lot of these women had gone through a program called the Jesus Journey and it was all about finding freedom and healing in Jesus. So a lot of these women have, have suffered as many of us have in our lives with trauma or abuse or suffering or sickness or lots and lots of things so it was really really sweet to to have fellowship with them and it was a small little gathering but i just love how the lord works and i never know what the lord is going to do in my life but i just i want to say here i am send me and i pray that it was a blessing and i pray that something that I said planted a seed and, and makes them want to know Jesus more, makes them want to continue to fight the good fight, and makes them trust that God is good and he has a purpose and a plan for their life. I am on my way home. It's going to take about three and a half hours to get home. So Granger and Lincoln are on their way back from hunting. We will do church tomorrow and get back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Praise the Lord for the rain. Mavi loves it.
Go slowly, slowly. It's slippery. No, go slowly. It's cold. I guess we're changing about Mommy. five. No, don't you get me. What do you got on your hands? What do you have on your hands? What is that? Mud. Mud? I thought River liked to be outside a lot. This boy is outside all the time. I change his clothes multiple times a day. Now that it's rainy, we're in the mud constantly. So, um, but he's enjoying it. <laughs> he's, he's getting his grounding in on his feet. And keeping my laundry going. Go, Mavi, go! Bath. You wanna take a bath now? Bath. All right, let's go. Right let's go take a bath. Right here. Yeah. Wash hands. Don't you get me. <laughs> Bubba taught you to say, hey, yo. You get me dirty all day. <laughs> Let's go take a bath.